Hello, welcome. Sometimes working with wool can be a little bit tricky when compared to working with normal braiding hair. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add weeds to wool or Brazilian wool or yarn or whatever you call it. We call it Brazilian wool here or Brazil wool. So first of all, it is not as flexible to an extent like normal expression type of braiding hair. So if you want to add beads to the hair, you need to have in mind getting bigger and um, beads with bigger space in the middle that's the very first thing because you can hardly ever squeeze it into the bead as you can do to the same extent you can do so with expression braiding hair or those other types of braiding hair then number two you know how we just bend over use rubber band to secure the last bead you can hardly do that with this type of hair extension because it is not so flexible especially if your braid is kind of thick so what you would do is to tie it off as i just did i'm going to repeat it you'll see me do it again on the rest of the three braids you tie it down so after tying it I, like i noted where i wanted it to stop made a knot with the brazilian wool and then i used just one strand to secure that knot again because sometimes the knot comes off and once it comes off that's the end of it everything is just going to pour away or loosen so i'm going to show you one more step i take to make it secured after adding all the beads to the rest of her braids
so guys one more thing to do to help make sure that the hair does not lose enough is to burn the ends of the brazilian wool just lightly a very important caution to take is to not let the burnt hair drop on your client or on the person's body until you are sure it is no longer hot because it tends to retain the hotness a little bit longer than expression even though it's not as rubbery so when i after burning it i let it hang on on my hand for a, from for some seconds then i feel it to make sure it's just imagine it was hot and i dropped it first thing you have to close the body of the person you're working on that was a mistake i did have it all over her so that even if the hair drops it won't touch her body and her neck and then watch as i burn just a little the burning is just to mesh the tip together, <laughs> to mesh the mouth, take off all the fly away ones and just make it stick together. Yeah, And then after that, hmm. okay, when you do it right, you can see me feeling the hair extension after burning it. I am feeling it to make sure that it doesn't have part of it that wasn't touched by the heat and also to make sure that none of the burnt part is pointy. If it has pointed ends, it's going to be cutting on hair bonnets, hair nets, people's shirts, and all those good things. So you have to make sure it's not burning. So we are done. If you want to see tutorials on how I braided the number 345 on her hair and the dollar sign, you can watch the tutorial. And even the general one for the whole hairstyle all in one is still going to be up on my channel soon. Thank you.